and welcome back to ESSA in Plain Midwestern English. Today we'll discuss the various factors that schools must consider when providing an education with equity under the Every Student Succeeds Act. Federal and state governments provide funding to districts and schools on a per-student basis. These funds may be used for specific learning needs, including gifted education, professional development, assessment, technology, student activities, instructional materials, students with special needs, English language learners, and other categories too. Let's take a look at School A and School B. While both schools may appear similar on the outside, the students who attend each school may have very different needs. Both schools might receive the same foundational funding, but if School A serves students with greater needs, then under ESSA, they will receive more money to help serve those students in more equitable ways. ESSA requires the state of Illinois to emphasize priority funding to school districts having higher numbers of low-income students and English language learners. Districts are required to make sure that greater resources are allotted to those schools having greater student needs also. The district determines where the dollars go based on students' unique and specific programming needs within each building. Equity is determined by the needs of the students within each school building. Resources are allotted per school based on student population factors and demographic subgroups. These resources might include classroom teachers, specialist teachers, support staff, administration, central services, and diverse learner supports. All of these resources have to work together to help make sure each child receives an appropriate and responsive education based on their individual needs. This has been ESSA in Plain Midwestern English from the District 205 Show.